No, I was brought up in a kind of in a household that called itself Christian, but you know they they didn't do anything. Fair enough. Yeah, but they had they had the values. So I guess the values was the thing. Uh, being kind, being that was, charitable. That was instilled in you. Yeah, I respect yeah. that. I was actually yeah. just having that conversation with my, family members. My mother yesterday. prays every day, mm-hmm. but we never went to church or anything. That's what I'm trying to say. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. What you now, what would you say is your theology? What would you say is your belief? Do you believe in God, firstly? I would say that uh, what I believe in is ultimate kindness. The kindness, uh, kindness is... I've got to that point where I've been through a life which has been through a lot of the ups and downs and I've met a lot of people, I've worked in prisons, I've worked with homeless people and for me being kind is number one. I'm not going to even disagree with you. Yeah. That being said, Mm. how do we define kindness? Where did kindness come from? What? um, So all of this would you say that it was created by one or multiple? Like, is there a creator? I don't know. That's why these books are there, okay. I guess, because, uh, you know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm qualified to know I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. I'm going to take this conversation somewhere mm. grim. Yeah. Right now, let's just say you was going to pass away. Yeah, yeah. Would I'm you gonna, pray to God? I'm going to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would you pray to God or would you just be like, ah, let's see what happens? tell you the way I think about it right now. Yeah, please. I might not use that word God, Mm. but there's something incredible that links me and you and all the people around us. Mm. And you might call it God and I don't know what, I I don't know what to call it. And that's Mm. probably partly from where I've come from and so on and so forth from the journey I've been on. But we probably agree Mm. is where I'm feeling. I would say, yeah, I wouldn't personally use the word God. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a few times you may have heard me use the word Allah. Because Allah, Mm. um, God has connotations. Mm. So when you hear the word God, you might think of the Christian God. Hindu person might think of multiple gods or a blue God. Does that make sense? God with an elephant and so on and so forth, statues. Mm. So I say the word Allah because what we believe in does not have a beginning. Yeah. yeah, is perfect. That's what I'm, yeah. um, is I'm independent. With you on that. I'm with you. On that. Yeah, is uniquely one. Mm. Is self-sustaining. Yeah, um, doesn't have offspring, n- um, nor does nor was he born. Yeah, um, there's nothing equal or comparable to Allah. Yeah, yeah. Like we wouldn't say Allah created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. Mm-hmm. Allah doesn't need to rest. Yeah. Allah wouldn't die on the cross. Mm-hmm. Allah wouldn't become a man. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So yeah. we, we distance ourselves from this, and we have this kind of unique belief in God, monotheism, in the oneness of God, Tawheed, we call it, mm-hmm. in regards to the names and attributes of Allah is uniquely His. Yeah. Um, the the worship is uniquely is just for Allah. That makes sense. The lordship is uniquely is just God, Allah's mm-hmm. alone. You know what I mean? So. That being said, it seems like you agree with me, but I think there's stigma due to maybe your past experiences or from the backgrounds or the interactions you've had. Do you know what it is? I think it's it's that all my friends come from so many different backgrounds, and I don't want to say anyone's wrong. What I want to say, like what I believe in, is the thing that links me and you. I'm going to give this to you, by the way. Thank you. What I, what I believe in is the thing that links me and you and makes sure that me and you take care of each other would, and the other ones around us. That's, that's what I do. Would you prefer to dis, um, displeasure, earn the displeasure of the one that created us mm-hmm. just, not to indivi- just not to offend a few individuals? Uh, I w- I'm not worried about offending people. You just said it. You said that you don't want to say anyone is wrong. And the yeah, way but it's not, it's not about offending, it's more... Because you, you come across like someone who's very polite. And I think like from this philosophy of kindness, mm. you don't want to hurt someone and say, oh, you're wrong. But the way I look at it is sometimes when you see someone doing something that would harm them long term, mm-hmm. yeah, you have to be a little bit unnice, oh, I, unkind. I'm with, you. I'm with you on this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. When you have two contradicting beliefs, mm-hmm. and I would say that, look, 
the Islamic theology is simple. You've agreed with most of it. Mm. Now let's set the foundation that look, is there a creator? Hmm. Can something come from nothing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pose the question to you. <laughs> That's a super difficult question. I would say it's a super easy question. Well, here's, here's the... I understand. I, I think... I don't think what I'm going to say disagrees with you. But... Um, it's like, how do we define nothing when we're... Like, we're, we're wandering around with five senses, or let's say five senses. Mm. And when we if i read a book about nothing from a physics perspective my brain cannot comprehend it when i read something i comprehend can't comprehend like that to me that is that is the god thing that's the that, what, is, that is the god thing when i read something like when i read the real far end of physics or when i read you know any kind of book that's trying to tackle this yeah, area I I should probably, yeah. probably need to do one the of unknown things. thing that is marvelous and wonderful mm. is the thing that i would say if i if i was going to be forced into saying what is god i would say from all of these perspectives from my friends from their parents from physics from what i've learned from living life and from looking to the eyes of people who are suffering and people are having a wonderful time there's something that's in all of them which is which links you and me mm. more than it divides us and how do you know that's what i'm I, that's just what Cause, I feel. yeah i can't be scientific about it yeah no, no, and that's fine and i respect that and i'll say that look mm. perspective so there's many elements of what you're saying i would agree with mm -hmm. and i would say that look it depends on which way you're facing and the direction so i'm saying that look when it comes to knowing and understanding god that's we only have a limited understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah? So when it comes to knowing God, I would say that we need to know God and understand God through the names and attributes, mm -hmm. how Allah has defined himself. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes to matter and um, things around us, we have a way of understanding it. Mm -hmm. you, you have a concept of nothing. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Um, yeah. So if I was to say, um, like your pocket is empty, mm -hmm. like what's in your pocket? You I say it's nothing. That. Does that make sense? If See, I, said, I don't understand. So I don't know whether you've ever read the Bhagavad Gita, but in that there's this moment where... So do you know the story in the Bhagavad Gita? The Arjuna there's many stories, and Krishna right? Yeah. Are, yeah, yeah. And uh, Arjuna asks Krishna to show him his divine form. And when he does, his, his brain melts. He can't com comprehend it. To me, that's the same as when people try and describe the moment before the Big Bang. Mm. It's the... There's a, li there's a link. Mm. I guess what I'm looking for is the links that mean, that, you know, like I, I think our enemies, our common, common enemies are those who try and create a division between me and you or anybody else in the street. Mm. And the link, that's where God is. I would say that I, look. I have like 30 seconds with my girlfriend's going to kill me if I don't arrive is soon. It? <laughs> no, no, fair I, enough. I really enjoy talking to you. No, no, definitely. I really Pleasure. thank you for this. No, no. Um, would you like it's another copy for your, for your missus as no, well? No, I'll share it with her. But Sharing it's good timing yeah. because I was thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. The, God, it, yeah. this is the plan of Allah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, something you said in the Quran, it says, look, come to common terms between us and them. Yeah. Right? Um, illallah, that there's none that should be worshipped except Allah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're saying that, look, let's look at what unites us rather than what divides us. And I agree. And a lot of my conversations that I have with individuals is that, look, what do you believe? And then rather than saying, oh, I disagree with this and this is wrong, mm -hmm. Even though I may feel that, I'll just be like, okay, um, oh, this is what we agree on, and this is what um, this is what Islam teaches as well. And I'm saying that, look, fundamentally, just very quickly, and I'm trying to think of how much of that 30 seconds is remaining. Yeah. Um, when I ask that question, can something come from nothing? It's mm -hmm. like we know what nothing is, and we know from the, the absence of something is nothing, mm -hmm. and then from nothing comes nothing. The universe is here. Mm -hmm. You you mention something about before the Big Bang mm -hmm. and I'm saying that look there has to be something that's all-powerful that's independent self-sustaining with intelligence we agree. outside of we the agree. universe to create the universe yeah, and this agree. is just through a simple full exercise yeah. we can establish that there is a creator yeah yeah does it make I'm, sense I'm with you on that I agree on that yeah, that's yeah. my point point. and yeah. these are the arguments the Quran makes mm -hmm. like did you create yourself mm -hmm. what did from um, so on and so forth right yeah. so I'm saying that when we look at the Quranic argument you see that look it doesn't leave any room any doubt that look when we use our intellect we would accept that there is a creator yeah. now 
would that create, a, create us with a purpose, without a purpose? Mm -hmm. Would that create us, tell us what that purpose is? And I briefly went through how God sent, Allah sent prophets and messengers. Mm -hmm. And I would say, that, have a read through that. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to give you my Instagram or my mobile number and we can continue this conversation. Where are you based then? Are you based in... I'm a, not. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a freelancer. Freelance. I'm a freelancer. You're running free. Thank you right. so much. What's your name, sir? Yeah, Simon. Simon Ridwan. I know that gentleman wants to ask you a question, yeah. which is, have you got any views, anything you want to say in regards to Palestine? Yeah. It's a hot topic. Yeah, yeah. In regards to Palestine. Yeah. What, 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 what was your views on that? Because I feel like it would be injustice for me not to mention the stuff. Friends, I have two friends who've lost people. And there's, there's an excuse going around about an eye for an eye and blah, blah, blah. But I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. I think there's a there's a there's a better way of doing things, mm -hmm. and uh, I hate to see people being hurt, and I hate to see some of the some of the things that I'm seeing on the internet at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot see that anything like that can ever be justified. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't see that any kind of uh, and even that statement eye for eye it's not it's not proportionate. Make it's sense. not proportionate. This is the. I think for every one we, life, we could, we could be here for four hours talking about this. Yeah. It's not proportionate, and it's not fair. Statistically, it's like it's for every one is very life. There's been like at least mm. 32. Mm. Looking back, and just think to yourself, like, how how we, like, what what, what value are we put into human life? That makes sense. And when you look at the suffering, and you look at things, but I, I res genuinely respect your time and your insight. And yeah, so if you've got any further questions, you can go to the mosque there. Yeah. East London Mosque has got like open days every first Saturday every month. And generally, we're here every once in a while. We're at Sarah Chapel Station, White Chapel Station. There's people there on Fridays. But thanks All so right. much. Bless Appreciate you. Your time. Yeah, Thank take you. Care. Take care. Have, Have a, a lovely evening. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, SubhanAllah, it just shows that, look, you have individuals who see the suffering that's taking place in Palestine and around the world, and you have people who are just completely shut off to it. And we're in an echo chamber, so on my feed, I see um, what's happening in Palestine, I see what's happening in Gaza, and I can imagine other people, there's lies being pushed and there's this um, propaganda that's taking place and we need to as individuals actually think outside the box and be critical in regards to look what's the agenda who's giving me this information how is it being verified um, is there independent sources and yeah may Allah make it easy for our brothers and sisters in Palestine free Palestine